don't know. So I could probably do some more practice. Hey, and now we have a fast travel point. Very nice. Excellent. So, um, we need to... I need to go over here. There is a, a thing that we need to clear here in the Exalted Plains. It is over here so that we can get to this campsite. Village, what? Come on! Tipsy Tiger! Why have you done this? Why? For anybody who is new or just passing through, Village Well is an all redeem. So please. My villain arc, if I must work, you must chug. How dare you! How dare you! Rude. It's to help with the hiccups? <laughs> It's to help with the hiccups, yes. So, for anybody who is new or just passing through, Village Well is an all-redeem. That means you, yes, you, need some water. So please, get yourself some water. <sighs> all you need to do is take a drink of water. If you would like to keep up with me, I have 16 ounces of water here. Um, but this is just... Is this Village Well number three? No, this is number two. This is the second one today. The tipsy tiger doesn't need sound to fun up to to run up to the village well and chuck a sword down the well, causing it to awake with a vengeance. Yes, I am sneaking in sound. Ooh, I see. I see you. I have many an ember and I will make you hydrate. I see. I see. Remember that we will have some community challenges coming up here soon. So don't spend all of them in one place. We are going to have some more community challenges here, um, similar to the Dream Daddy challenge. So, yes, it is It is number two thus far. It is number two thus far. So, let's get started here with Village World number two. Slow self-drowning. Here for anybody who is new or just passing through, Village Well is an all redeem. That means that you, yes you, need some water. Hail hydrate. That doesn't happen here. It's a very boring stream. I don't know how I've captivated you all. I really don't know. Nothing interesting here. I am never interesting or funny. It is village well talk! Slow self-drowning. We have so many friends. So many friends happening right now. Brain empty. No thoughts. Only psychic damage. Village well talk! The game is becoming self-aware. It knows that it got lost in its own metaphors. Oh my god. Hail Hydrate. It's a village well! Speaking, it's difficult. Village well talk! Thank you for your support. Mountain Shade Village brought to you by your support and villagers like you. Thank you for I did a small sip. Mountain. It just got my spirit. Hey, that is all right. See, the thing with Village Well, some people forget. The thing with Village Well is that I am the one who drinks the whole bottle of water. Some people are competitive and they want to chug along with me. But the the point is that all of you take a chance to remember that you do need to drink water throughout the day, right? Like, I'm a huge fan of caffeine. I have a friggin' affiliate code for Ray's Energy, because it's still one of the best energy drinks I have ever done. But, I can't drink caffeine all day. I need real water, and so do you. So, just take it as a reminder that you also need some water. The only reason that I think that Twitch could go away is if Amazon removes Prime subs to go away. Um, it was from a conversation someone had about Ludwig going to YouTube. I think that's a good point. And for me, personally, I, I don't think that Twitch is going away. I don't think that Twitch is going away. Even with the now pretty significant growth in competition from YouTube, I don't think it's going away. I do think 
that the landscape of live streaming is going to change significantly over the next five years. One of the things that I think about in terms of YouTube coming into the arena with live streaming is that YouTube, unlike um, Mixer, for example, or um, even Facebook gaming to a certain standpoint, YouTube has a base of users that is much more diverse than the Twitch base. YouTube's live streaming, as far as I'm concerned, is not for Twitch users. It's not for gaming users yet. I think they are trying to kind of explore and see what they can do with a gaming-centric platform. But as far as I can see from my perspective, because like, for me, I don't really fit into a lot of the Twitch gaming meta a lot of the Twitch gaming culture because my interests are much more diverse than just playing the video games. Like a lot of, especially folks who are, who are newer, um, like in the last couple of months, I would love to be full time doing full on cosplay creation with this channel. Like if I could, if I could build the, the audience, to do like like IRL streaming like if I could take you guys with me to go do LARP events and stuff like that go to cons with me for live stream con events like that kind of stuff I would love to do that but Twitch doesn't support that kind of content for the most part because that's not the audience that's here the audience that's here for the most part are people who are interested in video games and that's cool but you'd have to know who has the interest where, you know? So, like, if I wanted to do lots of in-depth conversations about how to create certain textures on EVA foam with certain materials, that's not going to, like, apply and appeal to the same people. And so, for me, I don't think that YouTube streaming is going to supersede Twitch. It's not going to replace Twitch. It's not going to make Twitch go away because the culture on Twitch is so ingrained with the audience members here that there is always going to be that core group of people. But YouTube live streaming as a whole has the potential to be so much more broad because you already have a base of users on the platform that is much more broad in comparison to Twitch. So I don't think it's comparing apples to apples. I don't think it's the same. Uh, they did have YouTube gaming for a bit. Yeah, and YouTube gaming still exists. Um, but it's it's slightly different. So you're saying I need to donate enough to get you to live stream a LARP event. I'll ask my spouse, BRB. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you know how exp expensive a full live streaming kit <laughs> for, a, for a run around in the woods event would be. But <laughs> I appreciate the uh, the interest. YouTube is still also really only video curated content, unlike Twitch, which is meant for live streaming. Yes, yes, 100% Magic Sheep. YouTube, especially in its current iteration, is video on demand content. It's not, it has not progressed and evolved far enough to be um, optimized for live streaming. Missed part of that. Apples to apples stream when? <laughs> that could be fun. That could be fun. Um, is there a digital apples to apples game? Um, we need to go see the Dalish. I don't know what to do. I forgot to sleep again. <laughs> Swirly swirl. Yes. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, Magic Sheep has been hopping into the Minecraft server. We are working on the Minecraft server with Medieval Minecraft. Um, it is a lovely mod pack, but one of the things that happens is that if you don't sleep, you get debuffed. And it gives you the drunk animation. I know the digital cards against humanity, similar enough, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's a similar kind of thing. Um, I don't know. Yesterday's community stream kind of put me on edge. 
Um, I'm considering maybe, j like, just doing community stuff on the Discord instead. Because I still love doing community nights with all of you. Community stream type stuff. Where we can play multiplayer games and stuff together. But, uh... I don't want to deal with the hassle of people who just want to be annoying for the sake of being annoying because it's entertaining to them. So I am I am rethinking that in the time being. Um You know, these soldiers are so fatalistic. Um but I do want to continue doing some more multiplayer nights, so we may we may do something like that, like over on the Discord instead, because why is my why is my mouse cursor like in the middle of everything? That's not necessary. Go over there. Uh what did I come over here for? I set this for some reason. Oh yeah, because I have these exclamation points and I can't figure out why the exclamation points are still on the stinking map here. Did the family cards against humanity this past weekend? Suggest it. Very nice. Very nice. Cards Against Humanity can be really good. Um, it can be a fun time. And Apples to Apples is really good too. Alright, I need... Is this, is this basically everything? Have we done everything except go see the Delish? Oh, we have to find the key as well. Um, really want to get Unstoppable Unicorns? I can't remember which game that is. Is that also by the same publication party as, um... Cards Against Humanity? I don't remember. Does anybody know, like, the best party to approach the Dalish with? Because I feel like I'm going to screw this up. I feel like, I feel like this is going to be a problem. There's a cat in the mountain? The one that punches the hardest? I don't know that that's true. I'm so concerned. Grabs cat for ritual. I mean pet. Yes. Um... I don't know... Maybe we'll bring we'll bring the elves with us for now. Maybe that will help. We will see. Ooh, Solas and uh, Sarah have some updates here, so let's have a quick look at that. I've not played this game, so YOLO. Very well. Honestly, this is my first playthrough as well, but... I've played a significant number of fantasy games. So, like, I've played through Skyrim and Witcher 3 and 
stuff like that. Y'all just standing there. Okay. So there's some similarities. Squats! Purple Kara has decided it is time for more squats, so if anybody else would like to add to the squats count, now is a good time. How is work treating you? Purple Kara. It's good? Good. I know you had to go lurk for some meetings a bit ago, so... Hopefully the meetings have been kind to you. Well, there's a waterfall we're supposed to find on this map as well. I have no idea how to get to it. I have some stuff to do, but I thought I'd return for a bit to say hi before I have to lurk again for working. Thank you very much for saying hello. Oh, hey. We should, uh, we should claim this logging stand here. That'll be helpful. You know what else I haven't done? We have not done the abs yet. Miss Hedgie has decided to add to the squats count as well. So we got 10 squats on the board here. All right. Chibble voice! Little part says it's time for the chibble voice. So we're gonna do the chibble voice. And then it is time. The abs. Or not the abs, the strong blood. So we gotta go space! Time for space. So much space. Need to see it all. I'm in space. I'm in space. I'm in space. The end. I do chibi strength by yes. I do chibi. Chibi and the strength by at the same time. So, we have 10 squats on the board right now. So please, if anybody is doing these with me, you're of course more than welcome to. But please make sure you have the chest out, but uh, feet flat on the floor and engage the crow to protect the back. Here we go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten! Ten strength ledges! Thank you very much, Purple Cow and Miss Hedgy, for the strength ledge. Appreciate it. Give me voice! Winning! Ah! Yes. Let's redo the chibi bros. There is also <laughs> chibi scratch the ultimate workout. Yes, yes. We don't get character bros so much anymore. I just see what else we have for character bros. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna go see the dollish. Hopefully they don't have us. <sighs> Leopold, I hope you enjoyed your chibi voice redemption. Thank you so much for being here, earning those embers, and being part of the village. I was not expecting that. Bless this stream. Thank you so much, Leopold. I'm glad you like it. But yes, I I do that with my own voice. I don't have voice mod. I, uh... Get too close to that. They're unused to strangers. Uh, I will keep my distance. Distance keeps us strangers. Then control them. Uh, I will keep my distance. I won't disturb them. Rest easy. Maseranus. I did not expect such kindness from a stranger. May I ask, traveling these plains, have you come across a golden hound? I fear human soldiers may kill her. If she would only draw close, I could gain her trust. I could protect her. Interesting. I've never heard of a golden hala. The legend is not well known, even among the people. We call her Hanel Gillen, the Pathfinder. In times of great need, she comes to show us the way. 
Now I will save up for Chibi Village Well. We do we do have the the voice that is just a voice soundbite, to be fair. The Chibi Village Well is is just the sound uh, alert. So it is not a voice and village well redeem. Although that might be something worth considering at some point. Um, but uh, we also have a character voice redeem where I will do character voices. They are not specific impressions, um, but I do character voices every once in a while. Also, it is time for some snacks. I am getting very hungry. <laughs> Why do you think soldiers hunt your hala? Pelts and horns sell for gold in Shem markets, I hear. Got to work on the ventriloquism to do the chibi voice while village willing. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? The chaos that would ensue? These are not good time. Another time. June, god of the craft. We dedicate all our crafts to June, for it is he who taught the people to bend the branches of trees to make our bows, and to fashion coverings of fur and iron bark. Without June, would we even have Aravel or the harnesses for our hala? When the people were young, we wandered the forests without purpose. We drank from streams and ate the berries and nuts that we could find. We did not hunt, for we had no bows. We wore nothing, for we had no knowledge of spinning or needlecraft. We shivered in the cold nights and went hungry through the winters, when all the world was covered in ice and snow. Then Slaes and the hearthkeeper came, and gave us fire and taught us how to feed it with wood. June taught us to fashion bows and arrows and knives so that we could hunt. We learned to cook the flesh of creatures we hunted over Slaes' fire, and we learned to clothe ourselves in their furs and skins, and the people were no longer cold and hungry. As told by Girsharel, keeper of the Referend clan of Dalish elves. Elkanan, the stores are so. Oh, at this rate, we'll never be on our way. So you're saying I need to save up for Chibi Voice and Chibi Village? Well, well, now you've got a regular viewer. Oh man. <laughs> Greetings to you. I'm glad you like it. You seem troubled. It's it's nothing. Just our stores with the Sham War and the demons. Replenishing them has been difficult. For one, we're almost out of herbs, and we lack materials to repair the Aravals. I don't even remember. There's so much we're missing. It's all written in my ledger. Spindleweed getting scarce. You've brought supplies. If you could store them in that chest, I would be grateful. Which, which chest? This one? Running out of elf root. We should have plenty of elf root. Someone took canine leather without my permission. If I find out who, we should have plenty of canine leather. Ooh, our Dalish favor is going up. Excellent. You are the the rest, Sharal. Need more iron. You brought supplies. If you could store them in that chest, I would be grateful. I'm I'm trying. This is why I pick everything up. Great bear fur. Do we have any great bear fur? Find three great bear pelts. Chibi voice might be my favorite redemption. Aneth Ara Herald. Ah, uh, talk. What do they say exactly? Well, the clans are worried about what this might mean for us. The Dalish, that is. No matter what they say. Your Inquisition is the only thing trying to help the world. I wish I could be a part of that. Hmm. Sounds like a volunteer. 
It won't happen. Keeper Howen won't allow it. He doesn't trust anything to do with the Chantry or Andraste. I could try to convince your Keeper. You could try. I'll take my leave. Earn enough favor to recruit Laura Nell. Greeting, stranger. Are you a merchant of some sort? I am Tanya. Chibi then squats. Leather, iron bark. These are my specialities. However, Keeper Howen has forbidden trade with outsiders we do not know or trust. Hmm. Mithal, the great protector. Elgernan has defended, defeated his father, the sun, and all was covered in darkness. Pleased with himself, Elgernan sought to console his mother, the earth, by replacing all that the sun had destroyed. But the earth knew that without the sun, nothing could grow. She whispered to Elgernan this truth and pleaded with him to release his father. But Elgernan's pride was great and his vengeance was terrible, and he refused. It was at this moment that Mithil walked out of the sea and the earth's tears and onto the land. She placed her hand in Elgernon's brow, and at her touch he grew calm and knew that his anger had led him astray. Humbled, Elgernon went to the place where the sun was buried and spoke to him. Elgernon said that he would release the sun if the sun promised to be gentle and return to the earth each night. The sun, feeling remorse for what he had done, agreed. And so the sun rose again in the sky, and shone his golden light upon the earth. Elgernon and Mithol, with the help of the earth and the sun, brought back to life all the wondrous things that the sun had destroyed, and they grew and thrived. And that night, when the sun had gone to sleep, Mithil gathered the glowing earth around his bed, and formed it into a sphere to be placed in the, side, in the sky, a pale reflection of the sun's true glory. From the tale of Mythil's touch, as told by Gishrael, keeper of the Rofiren clan of Dalish elves. Yes, yes, sun as in the celestial being. Who's Valoran? My brother. He's been sullen for a while because the keeper chose another as his apprentice. He thinks it's a slight, but it isn't. He just wasn't ready. Keeper Howen wants him to wait. Then he took off three nights ago on his own. I don't know what he was thinking. The Keeper sent hunters to search, but they never found a trace. Mathal's mercy. If anything's happened... <sighs> Alright, so I've picked up a few quests in this area here. Which might be useful. Long ago, when time itself was young, the only things in existence were the sun and the land. The sun, curious about the land, bowed his head close to her body, and Elgernon was born in the place where they touched. The sun and the land loved Elgernon greatly, for he was beautiful and clever. At a gift to El Elgernon, the land brought forth great birds and beasts of sky and forest and all manner of wonderful green things. Elgernon loved his mother's gifts and praised him highly and walked amongst them often. The sun, looking down upon the fruitful land, saw the joy that Elgernon took in her works, and grew jealous. Out of spite, he shone his face upon all the creatures of the earth had created, and burned them all to ashes. The land cracked and split from bitterness and pain, and called salt tears for the loss for all she had wrought. The pool of tears cried for the land, became the ocean, and the cracks in her body the first rivers and streams. Elgernon was furious for what his father had done, and vowed vengeance. He lifted himself into the sky and wrestled the sun, determined to, to defeat him. They fought for an eternity, and eventually the sun grew weak, while Elgernon's rage was unbated. Eventually, Elgernon drew, threw the sun down from the sky and buried him in deep abyss created by the land's sorrow. With the sun gone, the world was covered in shadow. And all that remained in the sky were the reminders of Elgernon's battle with his father, drops of the sun's lifeblood, which twinkled and shimmered in the darkness. 
From the tale of Elgernon and the Sun, as told by Gisharel, keeper of the Rilfarin clan of Dalish Elves. I love the lore in this game, so do I. It's amazing. Honestly. For a second there, I thought Iron Bull was wearing a shirt, and I was very confused. Like, Iron Bull doesn't wear a shirt. That's not a thing. Alright. I am going to give Solus a little bit more. No shirt for Iron Bay, right? Right. Uh, apply. Yes, thank you. I want to make sure that Solus has a little bit of each three so that we can do all of the things that need doing. All right, where is the keeper? We are going to need to go back to Skyhold pretty soon here, so. I met one of your hunters. He's continuing to look for a safe route. Trusted you to pass the message on. That speaks well of you. Why do elves call this plain the dearth? When the people settled here, we called it Dearth of Erin. The promise. Where the Dales were promised to us by Andraste. It's still the dearth to us. Even if the Shemlin give it a name that recalls our destruction. What has befallen your clan? The Orlesian War has hindered our progress through the dirt. The armies cause rock slides. They dig ditches that trip the Halla and destroy the Aravils. Making passage impossible. Precisely when the clan needs him most. My first, Tavern, defies my wishes and mounts an excursion to the Emerald Graves. And now, I've learned that the grounds of Far Valinaris are infested by angry spirits from the beyond. Yes, I am eating pizza, Leopold. I am a huge fan of cold pizza. Really, controller? Can we can we have some nice things, maybe? I've already cleared your sacred Jelly? burial site of demons. Ready? How could you? No. I shan't question the gift from the creators. Thank you. You have done us a great kindness. I know. We did all right. I'm a fan of veggie pizza. Next day it'll be like the kids say, busted. So my favorite pizza toppings are black olive and green pepper. I do not like cold pizza with meat on it. I will occasionally get uh, pepperoni pizza or bacon pizza. But uh, if I'm going to eat it cold, it can't have any meat on it. It's a horrible time. If I have leftover pizza with meat on it, I've got to heat it up. Cannot eat it cold. Give me cold pizza? Yeah. I think I think part of that has to do with having grown up vegetarian. So like the the cold cold pizza meat flavor is a bad time. Purple Kara doesn't care. Any cold pizza, Purple Kara is here for it. That's fair. That is fair. Maybe I will share if we get uh, if we get cold pizza. 
If we end up with cold pizza and we are sharing the pizza, you can have the meat half of the pizza and I will have the the no meat half of the pizza. What am I doing over here? I'm finding Valoran, so I'm looking for a dude. Take that statement how you will. Uh-huh. Phrasing. Do we need a phrasing command? Or a phrasing redeem? I feel like we might. I feel like it might be time. You're not going to stop that Kyun rubbish where you're trying to convert me, are you? <laughs> uh, no. What's so funny about that? <laughs> you, uh, you aren't really Vidithari material. What's that mean? I could be a Vidi, Vivi, one of those things. Bloody good one, too. Who are we fighting? Jeez. Used to get green olives, mushrooms, and ham, but Domino's don't do green olives anymore. Yeah. Green olives is a good one. Ah! No, don't, don't. No, no, no! Oh, man. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Have fun shooting things. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but yes, green olives. I used to do green olives and black olives on the same pizza. It was a good time. Valorin's journal. Valorin's journal is stained with blood. Only a few entries can be made out. And Emmeline keeps telling me I have to be patient. Vendis. I'm almost 17. I have made my Valishan. I'm ready to learn more than simple spells. Keeper Howen will be sorry he ever doubted me. Stories say that the ruin's not far from where we're camped. Don't care what Tanelil says. Getting Lorene's talisman will prove the Keeper that I am ready to be first. If it's really as protected as Tenyal believes, I'll just have to break through the rewards, even if I can't do it myself. I know what... Veil's thin here. None of the other hunters were brave enough to go into the Shem War Zone, but here I am. It has to work here. I know it will. We got some armor. Putting the stream in my pocket. Good luck, everyone. Gotta work myself. Very well. Have a good time at work. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning, Leopold. Appreciate it. Another one of these freaking Ent things. I was like, where's the thing? I can see the red dot on the minimap. Okay. Now where am I going? Can't... Still can't get to that camp. Alright. I'm gonna go pick up that quest... First, uh, 
Uh, let's grab our horse here really quickly, though. I like those lanterns. I gotta figure out how to do some metal working. More and more often now I have projects that require actual metal working. I gotta figure out how to get that done. This is like an escort mission, but backwards. Because I need it to remain in front of me. herself known to the others. She knows she's meant to be here. Thank you, Lethaline. I will never be able to express my gratitude. Very nice. And plus two power as well. So, that is a perfect time to save. Always be saving. Gotta work those abs.